hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video i'm going to be showing you guys how i made this dress for myself and my daughter i made this dress way back for mother's day and i tried to do like a home mini mother day and daughter shoot that didn't really go well but i think you guys can see i'm going to insert some pictures so you can also see the dress how it looks on my little girl but I also went ahead and filmed now a little bit of how the dress actually look on me. I love the way the dress feels on my skin. Sometimes I just want to have some wide flowy dress. If you want to see how I made this dress for myself and my daughter, definitely keep watching. So um, for this tutorial, we're going to be using my daughter's pattern as a reference to the way you're going to make your pattern so it's basically the same step i have taken like a simple shirt that has sleeve and this is what we're going to use to create like the top part of the dress and the other pieces are just literally square pieces that we need to cut out out of the fabric so it's a very very simple tutorial at least um, two and a half to three yards of fabric or three meters of fabric my daughter is now 17 months so she's not really that big but you because we're going to be gathering the pieces you need a sufficient amount of fabric you're going to need a machine thread so i'm using this pink thread you're going to need your shirt to trace out the outline of the t-shirt you're going to need pins you're not going to need your scissors and other stuff and of course you're going to need your sewing sorry my phone you're going to need your sewing machine what i've done is i basically fold place my uh place the her top on the fabric and I fold in the sleeve because I don't want the entire length of the sleeve and this is what you're going to do if you're making like a big size as well I'm repeating this is exactly the same step I'm going to use to create in my own dress as well so and I won't be showing you guys how I cut my pieces because I'm already showing you guys like right now so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut out the outline of the shape that I see and I literally need this bit I don't need to cut this length I just need from like the from like under the armpit width that This is what you should have for the front piece it is wide enough because I don't want it's not it's not like a, a, a body fitting and top so it's good now I'm going to use this piece to cut out the back piece guys so i'm quickly going to show you guys the pieces that i went ahead and cut so I, like i said the, the rest of the dress are basically square pieces so we already went ahead and cut the front and back piece and then i went ahead and cut out a square piece the first piece that, that you want to attach to the top part is going to be uh 49 inches long and it is nine inches wide I hope this is I'm making sense but if you guys don't understand it just comment below and then for the sleeves so the first piece is 22 inches long by 5 inches wide when I went ahead and pre hung and everything I'm just didn't I'm just going to hem it I fold it in and I'm going to go sew this hem it and I also repeat the same step for the back I already folded in and I'm going to hem the neckline and I'm also going to hem the sides so you don't have any rough ends from the inside so guys the next step is you're going to sew the front and back piece together i've already pinned it in place and it's right sides facing each other and i've 
pinned it on the shoulders so yeah when you're done sewing you should have something like this so we're going to now try to attach the sleeve pieces that we cut to this opening so you know we have like these pieces and we need to gather them to the width of this opening so the next step is the sleeve so i already went ahead and did one side and after seeing the way it looks i think for my daughter i don't know for myself yet i'm just going to leave it with one layer you can see because it looks so cute and i feel like with a double layer it's going to be too much for her she, she's still quite little so i'm going to just leave this one layer like this and i didn't do gathering i did pleats but you can go ahead and do gathers or just Figure out what you like the most. I like, I'm going to show you now how I did the pleats. I didn't measure them. I just did random pleats. So I'm... This is what you should have after you've done plating so i'm going to go ahead and sew it from there to there and i'm also going to hem the bottom part of the sleeve so the sleeve is finished and yeah i'm gonna go do that and i'll come back to show you guys the next step okay guys so this is the top already done it looks like a like a lolly right now but this is it this is the front and this is the back i'm going to be putting like a a bobby what do you say that? a press button at the top to close it and then i'm just going to leave this open so i ran ahead and pleated it and i really love the look that it has with the pleats i think i'm going to do pleats instead of gather i'm just going to go ahead and sew the pleats in place i'm going to sew from this point all the way to this dress as it is right now i already went ahead and sew in this part to the dress and it looks super 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 cute so right now we're going to sew in the last layer which is the bottom of the the layer that's gonna go under here so we also volume is insane she's gonna look like a little princess in this dress so i've already sew in the second layer this is the back i'm gonna try to turn it to the front so this is the front look at that volume and that print is so amazing okay so now we're going to work on finishing the dress because it's practically almost done so we're going to sew the back close and we're leaving the top part open because we're going to be adding the press button so we're leaving from this we're going to be adding a press button and this is going to be open so we're sewing it all the way till here so we're going to start pinning and you're just going to pin it all the way down to close the this the the dress at the back I just found out that i don't have a press button at home so i cannot show you guys how i hand sew the press button so i'm gonna go sew close the back hem the bottom of the dress and i'll come back to show you guys um the finished look you guys like it it might be a little bit confusing some in some places but make sure to comment below if something is confusing to you and I will make sure to reply as soon as possible make sure to please help me share this video 
comment, like, subscribe, you know, all the fun stuff. Thank you guys. And I will see you in my next video.